Well, hello, my beautiful and amazing crafters. Welcome to another video of Crafting with Shanita. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be assembling and designing these cable boxes, and I just wanted to bring you along. For today's tutorial, I actually did not design this cable box template. I did purchase it from an Etsy seller, and I'll put the listing in the description box below. With this cable box template, you're able to size it any way you see fit and I wanted a small box just to place some candies for the party. Now that I have the sizing the way I like it, I went ahead and designed my elements to wrap around the gable box for my print and cut and I also added a few elements so I could have a little 3D effect to the box as well. The great thing about having a template is that you can size it to as small as large as you want versus buying pre-made boxes where you're kind of stuck with one particular size. Now that I like the way that the design looks and everything fits accordingly, I'm ready to save my design and go ahead and I'm going to send it to the mat. It's two types of uh, actually three types of cardstock for my cable boxes just to see which one I really like the best I tried it with a shimmery white cardstock I also tried it with the party printables um, cardstock which is a single-sided glossy cardstock and I also tried it with double-sided cardstock The three versions my favorite was the single sided cardstock by printing party printables and I will have the link in the description box below now that I have all the cable boxes cut out and assembled I'm going to go ahead and add my elements that I want to go around the box for the party I'm going to be making a total of 10 cable boxes With my particular printer, I had to feed each sheet one by one just to keep it from jamming. And I had a little assemble going so that way I could get all the 10 boxes done. And I got them done relatively fast. It took me about an hour to get them all cut and prepared. I'm going to be trying out Dollar Tree's double foam tape to give my design a 3D effect. I really like the way the double foam tape um, worked out. It was very sticky and it had enough, just enough height for my design. What are your favorite party favors to make and design? Let us know in the description box below. For the mermaid tail on top, I had used a combination of purple and gold cardstock. And I used my heart embossing folder to emboss the number five just to give it a more textured look. And added additional pieces of the foam tape on the back and placed it on top of the box. And to complete the look, I had these really cute pink bows that I added on the tail when using my Sherbonder hot glue gun. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope you learned a little bit or a lot. And make sure to hit that subscribe button. We will love to have you a part of the Crafting with Shinita family. Well, until the next video, guys, happy crafting.